Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, I really need to stop coming on my channel looking absolutely crazy like this. I've not long got up, but I thought today it'd be a really good idea to film an updated makeup routine as well as like a little Q&A, just a nice chill chatty video, just to have a little catch up because I haven't done a chatty video on my channel in what feels like forever and so a lot has changed in that time and so i thought i'd just update you on new makeup products i'm using as well as everything that's going on in my life so i've just made myself a cup of tea i am in my dressing gown and i don't know why but i've woken up and i sound really ill but i feel fine but yeah so without further ado let's just get straight on into the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy and don't forget to hit subscribe Okay, so I've done my brows already off camera. My brows are just crazy at the moment and it just takes me so long to do them. They are due a lamination. But what I use on my brows is just this Brow Define Longwear Brow Gel from MUA. Um, this is really, really good. It's just like the Anastasia like pomade. And then I just carve them out with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the matte finish. And I actually picked up the wrong shade this time. I picked up Fair Rose, but to be fair, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to go straight on to doing my skin because we need to cover all these blemishes. Honestly, like mask acne is the bane of my life. I literally have to wear a mask all day at work, every single day. And every time I get rid of a spot, a new one pops up and it drives me insane. So what I'm using for my foundation at the moment is a bit of a mix. So I've got the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation and this is in the shade Butter Pecan. I do always buy my foundation slightly darker because I'm mainly tanned like most of the time. And then I think they've actually changed the formula to this. It's a little bit more matte than it used to be and sometimes if I just use this it just dries out my skin a bit too much. So I do mix it with the L'Oreal True Match and this is in the shade True Beige. So I normally just mix those two together just to make sure that this isn't too matte and then I just apply that with a beauty blender. I don't actually know what beauty blender this is and it does need to clean. But here we are. So I'm just going to start applying that. And then I'm just going to go over to Instagram and see what questions you guys have been asking. So normally when I do these things, I do pop up a story on my Instagram. So if you want to take part in these like Q&As and stuff like that, then make sure to head over and follow me on Instagram so you can take part. I will leave my app down below. It's just Bobby Jane Carr. Someone asked, what is my skincare routine? Sorry, I'm just looking over here because this is the only way I can do my makeup. I can definitely not do my makeup in the camera. So <laughs> I've just got a mirror here. But yeah, someone said, what is my skincare routine? Honestly, I really, really struggle with skincare because I am allergic to so many skincare products that I find it so hard to find something that I can actually put on my skin. I can use the simple products, however, um, I don't find they're really that effective. I'll use them and it doesn't really necessarily make my skin any better, but I do tend to take my makeup off with micellar water. I have to use, I think it's the simple one, um, I can't use Garnier because I'm allergic to it, so that's annoying. Um, I can't use Nivea because I'm allergic to it. Literally so many skincare products just bring me up in this horrible like rash all over my face and it's not pretty. I actually had the worst allergic reaction in lockdown one to Garnier Micellar Water because I didn't know I was allergic to it and my mum bought me like a huge bottle of it for Christmas and I'd been using it and honestly I looked like I'd been stung by bees all over my face. It was awful. Um, I ended up in hospital and like being hooked up to a drip and everything. It was not nice. So yeah, it's really hard to find products that I'm actually allowed to use. So my skincare routine is pretty non-existent to be fair. Oh, and I use these like little rag things. This does need washing. Um, I got them off of cherries and you get them in like a pack of three and they're so good for taking your makeup off. Like with those little pads it takes me ages to get my makeup off but with those my makeup comes off in seconds and they're so soft on your face 
that I feel like it doesn't irritate my face as much as what the little cotton pads do. So if any of you are like allergy prone to like skincare and stuff and you found products that work for you, please let me know because I just always get really scared to try new products in case I do come out in a massive like allergic reaction. Oh, my voice. I actually sound like a man today. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I've just blended out my foundation, then I'm just going to go in with my concealer. Again, that's the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer matte finish, and I picked up Fair Rope. But this is so good. If you get dry skin, then I would probably recommend the satin finish one, but my skin doesn't go that dry. So I use the matte one for under my eyes, and then I've got the satin one for, like, contour and i'm literally just gonna put this all under my eyes this is only six pounds as well and honestly i used to buy the tarte shape tape concealer and this is just as good like for six pounds out of super drug i like highly recommend it so someone said how are you settling into your new house now obviously like i said oh my god i actually look crazy i can see myself in the camera <laughs> like i said it's been a while since I've been on my channel so a lot has happened so me and Harley have moved into our own place and yeah we've settled in really well now we've been here since beginning of October and yeah I really really like having our own space don't get me wrong it's really hard to learn everything from scratch like all the bills and stuff like that's fine now we've like settled in and got used to that but like it's getting used to living with each other as well so that can be quite tricky i'm just being so realistic like there's probably things that i do that he gets annoyed about and there's things that he does that i get annoyed about so it's just sort of learning how to live with each other like me and Hals have lived with each other for like four years in the past but we've always been in his parents house so it is quite different. I really like the fact that we've got our own place now and it's in a really good location and we've got the cats here as well. So that's amazing. But yeah, I just love having my own space. But yeah, I'm not going to be doing a house tour just because like it is Harley's house as well. And I do feel like we need some form of privacy. So I won't be doing a house tour, especially because we've got all of our stuff in it now. Maybe if I'd done it straight away, then it wouldn't have been too bad. Just quickly, I'm just using the Hydrating Camo Concealer in the Satin Finish. And I picked this one up in Deep Chestnut. And this is perfect for cream contour. I used to use the Revolution one, but they just didn't last very long. Like the tubes are so tiny and this has lasted me so much longer. And yeah, it's the perfect like warm sort of tone. I just put that down my cheeks and then on my forehead as well. So someone said, did I have a lovely birthday? And I did. Yeah, so we celebrated at the weekend. Me and the girls that went into Watford, we went to a place called The Florist and it was so, so lovely. Honestly, I highly recommend it. I think the service was absolutely insane. The food was really nice. The drinks were nice. And just the atmosphere was really lovely. So I highly recommend that. And then we went to Prism, which mm, I don't really recommend. Only because like the club itself is really fun. But basically we booked a booth and i think i explained this in the like i do have i did vlog it but we booked a booth because we thought well if we book a booth we're safe like we're not gonna get spikes or anything we're in our own company no one can come near us it's our own space we got all our alcohol for free well obviously we paid like 25 pound each there was four of us so the booth was 100 pound you get a bottle of vodka all your mixers for free and then your entry free and cloakroom free and your seats obviously like the booth we thought that was a good idea until people started coming into our booth and it was just like well the whole reason in booking a booth was so like people didn't come near us <laughs> so we actually ended up leaving early because we were just getting really frustrated like there was this guy and he kept coming over and we literally all told him we were not interested we didn't want small talk like we all have fiancés and children and stuff so it was just a bit annoying when he just wouldn't leave and like how many times can you tell someone to leave before they actually listen to you so i've just quickly taken that concealer and i basically like just put two lines down my nose and then one slightly above and then like underneath as well and then i just blend that out with like an like a fluffy eyeshadow brush i used to powder contour my nose but i just feel like this works so much better so yeah we ended up leaving early 
which I was a little bit annoyed about because we still had like half a bottle of vodka left but we had just got to the point where we were just like we just can't be asked to like argue with this guy like trying to get him to leave us alone so we were just like oh fuck it let's just go home so we went back to our apartment but it was a really really good night sunday we just came home and i chilled and then on monday i was in london with anna again that that vlog should already be live so i'll link it up here somewhere so you can go and watch that and we went to so many cute places so first of all we went to drunch um which was like a little brunch spot that was really cute then we went to another cafe which um if you're fans of sophia and is it chinsia they always go to this cafe and it's such a cute cafe it's called beach blanket babylon so we went there and we basically just spent like the day getting instagram content and then we had dinner at harry's booked and tonight josephine which i've never been to either and they were so good um, I must say though, I got the truffle pasta from Harry's and I thought I was going to like absolutely love it and I really didn't like it and I ended up not eating any of it. So I was a little bit disappointed on that, but that's not their fault. I'm just a really, really fussy eater. So it's really hard eating out at restaurants when I'm so fussy. So now I'm just going to quickly set my under eye with another beauty blender. This one is the, this one's the real techniques one and it's the powder sponge so it's like slightly fluffy so it holds the powder better and then i'm just using my laura mercier translucent setting powder i swear by this powder so i'd wanted to try it for so long and then a little while ago they had a deal on look fantastic i think it was and i accidentally picked up a mini but to be fair it was a good tester and then after that i was just like i actually can't live without this powder so on black friday i had to indulge and buy a full size but honestly i swear by this it's insane like it just holds my makeup on for so much longer and then i'm just taking a brush and patting the rest over my face just to set my whole face because otherwise it won't last but yeah that was all the birthday celebrations so that's it for another year now i don't have anything else planned but i have decided that this year i really want to go to more cities so i've never actually been abroad but i'm not too fussed about that right now i just really want to like go to manchester i want to go back to birmingham i want to do more trips into london and go to more cute like brunch places and stuff like that so yeah i'm i'm looking forward to this year and i'm hoping that my instagram content is going to get so much better because of it if you don't already follow me on instagram then make sure you go follow me <laughs> right so now i'm just going on to bronzer contour so i watch madison sarah all the time and she always raves about the mac give me sun so again i picked this up on black friday and i actually love it like it's the perfect warmy sort of brown but it's not too dark because the worst thing about bronzer is if it's too cool and you put it on your face you then end up looking just dirty whereas this just gives you the perfect amount of glow and it's not too harsh i do go a little bit overboard with this though because i want to actually look like i've got some color to my face <laughs> so someone said is the red hair here to stay oh just dropped my phone so the red hair is here to stay for now however i do have a plan so i'm gonna try and keep the red hair for as long as possible because i really want my hair to get back into good condition my hair has been on quite a journey especially through lockdown because i was so bored i was just like oh like i'll color my hair this color then i'll do it this color so yeah my hair is probably feeling it a little bit yeah so the plan is stay red for a while because i don't have to put bleach on my hair when it's red i can literally just use a high lift tin and then put the red over the top and then after that i'm just gonna let it fade into like a pink and let it be pink for a little while and then i'm gonna go back blonde because i miss being blonde and i really really want to go back blonde but i need my hair to be in good condition but i love the red at the moment like it's so much easier to look after than everything else but don't get me wrong red hair is so messy like i got this brand new coat 
it was white and fluffy and I'd been wearing it around London and already like my hair dye has transferred onto like the collar and when I wash my hair it literally looks like I've killed someone in the bath like it's so so messy right I'm just gonna stick on some lashes now I'm not gonna lie I haven't found my holy grail lashes yet I am just using these lashes from Amazon they're like super super fluffy which I quite like they're not my faves but we're just using them because we've got them so first of all I'm just oh hi Bambi please don't step on my lashes you know that if you've been here for a while you know Bambi has to make an appearance in almost every single video like if I'm sat in this chair she just can't help herself but to come and sit on my lap she's so so needy are you gonna sit down I'm just using this Morphe Make It Big Volumizing Mascara. But I literally just put a small, like, just a light layer on my lashes. Just so then when I put my falsies on, my lashes blend in with them and they don't, like, stick out. And then Lash Glue, my ride or die is the Duo. And I literally won't go with any other lash glue now. So someone said, do you have any New Year's resolutions? If so, what are they? So I haven't necessarily set any resolutions this year like I've got goals and what I want to achieve but not sort of like I don't know I just feel like if you're going to set a resolution it doesn't need to be like a new year's resolution like if you want to change something then you should just change it and I wasn't going to set any resolutions like go to the gym or anything because let's face it I'm not going to the gym and even if I do end up going to the gym it will be when I have time to do the gym like me and Shelby spoke about doing a joint membership, which I don't mind doing, but I just know I'm not going to do it by myself. So I wasn't going to set any resolutions like that, but there's things that I want to do this year that I'm hoping to be able to do. So I would love to do social media part time so I can go part time at work. The good thing about being self-employed is that when I start earning a little bit more from social media, I can slowly just drop a day maybe every other week or every week and just see how it goes so that is one goal so by the end of the year be part-time social media part-time hairdressing another goal is to visit more cities and just visit more places that I want to go to and just be a little bit more independent like for the past couple of years I've relied so much on other people that I just want to be able to do things myself like how cute are these lashes they're just so fluffy i've decided this year as well that i really need to start being more consistent with my youtube channel because last year was just such a mess <laughs> i try i try and upload at least twice a week but and then it will be like months since a new upload and then it's just so hard finding the time like i literally work full time instagram feels like a full-time job and then with youtube as well and this year i really want to be more consistent and try to up my tiktok game as well so trying to do all three socials and work full-time is honestly so difficult so i'm just using this lip liner and it's the nyx slide on glide on in in intimidate this isn't the shade that i usually use the shade that i normally use is oh i can't read that is SLLP2A and the one that I'm using now is SLLP23. Um they didn't have this one so I just had to pick the closest. I just try and go for like a warm brownie nude colour but I think this is actually slightly too cool. So I just line my lips and then I basically just colour in the edges. Once I put on my lipstick I just want it to look like an ombre effect. And then sometimes I just put a tiny, tiny bit of concealer in the middle of my lip. I know it looks crazy, but just trust the process. <laughs> and then there's two lipsticks that I choose between. So there's the Collection Velvet Kiss Moisturising Lip Cream in the shade Drama Llama. And then I also have the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colour in the shade mocha and i think i prefer a matte lipstick even if i put gloss over the top of it i just feel like these last so much longer on the lip like i could literally put this on in the morning and it will still be there in the evening like it wouldn't have budged lastly is highlighter 
so someone asked about instagram how to set up an instagram and like how did i get into like micro influencing which sounds really weird like i wouldn't call myself an influencer i literally just post for brands and i like taking photos and i just find it so fun but yeah so basically in lockdown i feel like i've answered this question so much but in lockdown i was just bored i wasn't allowed to work and so i'd always been into posting on instagram anyway and then i just started taking it like a little bit more seriously and just started posting more consistently and i actually made a tiktok the other day that trend where you post like when you first started instagram like your photos then and then now and honestly the fact that i thought those photos were acceptable actually makes me laugh because they were absolutely awful but everyone starts somewhere so I just put in on the golden sin scintillation I think that's how yeah the MUA um highlighter is just a gold highlighter and I'm literally obsessed this is my go-to I won't use anything else and I don't like silver I prefer gold because I just feels like it goes with my skin tone and my hair so much better so I just put it on the inner corners under my eyebrow and just blend that in with my finger and then down the bridge of my nose and then on the tip and then I'm just going to take a different brush and just put it on my cheekbones. I honestly can't understand how some people don't wear highlighter. Like, I literally feel like I couldn't live without it. I feel like some people are either a highlighter girl or a blush girl. And I don't really normally wear blush. I just feel like I can never find the right shade. It's either far too pink or far too orange. And, like, when I put it on, I feel like I just look like a clown. So highlighter will have to do for now um but yeah back to the instagram thing and then yeah i was just posting consistently and then that's when brands started to reach out to me and i was just like oh my god i can actually like do this not as a job back then but like brands actually want to work with me and i just found that so insane so like i said i started taking it more seriously trying to get better photos and then as soon as i started taking my content outside like my instagram just blew up so quickly like i went from like i think it was between 2 and 4k to 10k literally within months and then i was stuck at 10k for literally a year like i did not budge and then all of a sudden it started climbing again so at the moment i'm only on 11.4 and my goal for the end of the year is to at least have 20k that's quite a big goal for me but i just feel like if i don't set my goals high then i'm not gonna work as hard to achieve them so i'm like i've got this like i'm gonna make my instagram pop this year but yeah it's just really fun i would just say just post regularly make sure your content is really high quality pick a niche like a niche is so important I'm gonna fix this hair situation now because I'm sick of looking like an egg with a bun on top of my head so i'm just gonna go and grab my hair extensions okay so i've just finished putting in my hair extensions so the hair extensions that i use are the beauty works they're the beach wave set and i normally just buy them in blonde just so i can color them myself just so i can get the perfect color match but i'm just gonna answer a couple more questions and then i'll probably end the video there because i think i've rambled enough Someone said, where do you see yourself with YouTube in a year? So I hope to be uploading consistently, as I've said, and I hope to have 5K. Someone said, how many kids do you want and at what age? Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but I don't actually want children. Someone said, are oh, any exciting content or plans coming up? So I've just um been to london and taken so much content so we've got two vlogs going up we've got a couple of hauls coming soon a plt sheen and boohoo i think and then yeah loads of instagram content coming up and i'm so excited for you to be able to see the pictures that we got okay so my camera just died so i'm going to end the video here i really hope that you enjoyed make sure to give a big thumbs up if you did and don't forget to hit subscribe and i will see you in the next video